essentially grown up around us. So, I don't know what we can do as a group, but um, if, if there's something that you think that we can do to put a little pressure on Atmos, um, please let me know. Um, here, here the last week there's been that news. There was also some news broke last week about TCEQ. And uh, there is a, a young reporter in Austin named Forrest Wilder, and he works for the Texas Observer. And he is the one, he is the one who uncovered this. And he, yeah, absolutely. And, and he called me and he said, hey, I got something that I want you to look at. And so he, he sends me an email with this fraud investigation and he had found out about it through some other emails or something. And I'm reading this and I'm going, oh my God, what are these people doing? And it was, it was kind of interesting because I actually had a FOIA request in for that same data. I didn't get it. They were withholding it from me. So I called down and I said, hey, that's against the law. And they turned over everything. When I got that everything, that was really, really glaring. And I may have inadvertently sent it to the WFAA, I don't quite remember. <laughs> so, uh, there's been a lot of comments out. Uh, it's coming out that there may even be more data that they withheld. This is looking pretty bad. Um, a lot of the, 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 the local politicians, as well as some of the state officials, uh, even on up to our national officials has been calling for an investigation and one thing that I'm really really concerned about is that they're going to go down there and they're going to find a scapegoat and they're going to try and serve us one guy up and say he was the problem we fired him you know we're doing whatever this is all over with and that's not the answer they need to do an investigation and they need to get to the root of this problem they need to know why John Sadlier did what he did. John Sadlier ain't that smart to figure all of this out. I know that and you know that. So there needs to be a deep investigation and we need to find out where the root of this problem is. I think it's probably above him and I think it's way above him. But that's where the root of the problem is and that's what we need to find out. So. Um, anyway, I appreciate all the support everybody's been giving me, and I know that there's a couple of, of very, very good speakers coming up, and I don't want to wait any longer and let you guys get to them. Um, as, as, I'm, as I'm moving maybe from public life to, to private life, um, I'm still going to want to be involved in this. And I have an email listing, and if those of you who don't have my email address want to grab a card uh, from me tonight and send me an email, and just say you'd like to be on my email list. Uh, as I move, you know, assuming that that happens, I, I'm not real confident that anybody, does anybody want to buy a house and dish? <laughs> um, so this may be a little bit of a drawn out process, uh, but I may move quicker than that depending on, on, on how things happen. But um, as I move out of that role, I would like to have a, a very wide contact list if I could get that. If you're, all, if, if you're at all interested, please see me, get one of my cards, shoot me an email and just ask to be put on my email list and we'll continue to grow that. Um, there's, a, there's a website that is online, it's not completed. Uh, CalvinTillman.com is up now so you can go on to the website. N none, of my, none of the stuff is filled in really, there's just some pictures and, and things like that right now, but uh, that's gonna be up and going. And so we will uh, we'll stay in this battle, whether I'm the mayor of Dish or not. And uh, for all of those of you who have adopted me as, as your mayor, I'll still always be your mayor. So thank you all very much.
family, and I know you want to get a card. There you go. Thank you. Oh, Calvin, is this a souvenir? Bad news. Where did you get this? Water well and dish. Water well and dish. Wouldn't you love to drink that? Hmm? Yeah. The initial tests on this from the Railroad Commission showed this at seven and a half times the uh, allowable limit for drinking water for arsenic, 21 times for lead, and two and a half times for chromium. And then I believe the well was actually shut off. I think they shut the gas well off, so the next test didn't come up with a lot. But Wilma had, had, had uh, said that uh, it may have been because they didn't run the water long enough to get to the bad stuff yet. Um, we did a test and we came up with several things, acetone, MEK, anything else that I'm missing, that I'm highlighting, that I'm not, a lot of heavy metals, so anyways. Is that our souvenir? Yeah. You got to take that one, huh? And, and the cheering section over here, let's, let's acknowledge the boys. There's Justin and Andrew. Stand up, guys. They are terrific. They've been so good here. You going to stand up? Let us give you a hand. Come on, get up on those chairs. Let's go here. These are the troopers that stay at home. And Mom, too. We appreciate them very much. Thank you, Calvin, and thank you for all you do. We really appreciate it. And No, I don't think that home and dish is going to move anytime soon, but I think there are a bunch of folks that want to adopt you. And you know what? It seems to me that there's a mansion that burned down in Austin and some guy that's renting a $10,000 a month place, you know, until he finds a permanent home. But gosh, I'll bet you there could be a place down in Austin. What do you think maybe in the near future for Calvin Tillman? Wouldn't you love to see a governor down there?